And one of them was, was actually about using Twitter sentiment uh, to be yeah. able to, uh, you know, track the price of Bitcoin. That's right. Well, right now the price is going down. Anytime it's going, right. going to go up anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if we could really predict the future that much, um, yeah, uh, hardly no one would be releasing that information. I mean, these sort of algorithms, they come up with um, good enough predictions that you're 60, 70 percent likely to to uh, make a prediction correctly. Now, most of that work. So I was a supervisor on that work. work that's actually Jacques Velocretin. He's now one of our master's students. And um, the work focuses on can we use this recent past history on, in regards to what people are saying about Bitcoin? Can we use that information to make predictions for today, tomorrow? If, this particular work was focused over uh, day, three days, and uh, seven days. You can come up with different models.